I'll start at the beginning. March 13, 1964, became a historical day for Latinos in Colorado. I want to emphasize, it's the very first 501c3 organization ever created to serve the Latino, Hispanic, Latino, Chicano, whatever we call ourselves community. This whole ethnic group that, that is so important to our country. Lena Archuleta and Bernie Valdez had a vision. Started to come together to, uh, to form this new organization to take advantage of a recently passed law that allowed nonprofit organizations to be formed. Joining up with what is now called Mile High United Way to sign an agreement first of its kind, the Latin American Research and Service Agency, also known as La Raza. This group, not only did they survive, but they flourished and they kept going. And United Way, after a while, saw the benefit of having this organization. And so La Raza was formed and proceeded to have this long history of service to the community. La Raza created for Latinos when it came to education, youth motivation, jobs and employment, health and welfare, housing and community resources. Unfortunately, people who make decisions and policies affecting our communities in Colorado, in both the public sector and the private sector, don't always fully understand or take into consideration the goals, the values, the aspirations, the, the hopes, the dreams, the strengths of Latino communities in Colorado. Over the years, a wide range of programs serving not only the Denver metro area, but statewide. Went through a lot of cycles, as most organizations do. The beauty of La Raza was that it survived. It survived the ups and the downs and the curves and the straight time. You know, and, and as a consequence, it, it continued you know, in, on its path to serve our community. In 2007, after decades of dedication, La Raza, to keep flourishing and sustain funding, needed a name change and became the Colorado Latino Leadership Advocacy and Research Organization also known as Claro. La Raza had been such a popular term when we first started. There was a political organization that, was, that came into being uh, in 1969, 1970, called La Raza Unida. So there became uh, a lot of controversy about who was La Raza, you know, and was it, you know, those folks that are working in the nonprofit world? There have been many milestones and accomplishments over the past 60 years, with the impact being felt across the Centennial State. Care for young children and for our elders. These are all, these are unifying issues for Colorado's Latinos. And to the extent that the, the multiple organizations that we have now in Colorado can take advantage of our research, that, that can join with us in advocacy so that every legislator knows who the Latino organizations are in their district and we can work together at the state capitol and at other levels of government. A lot of good things that, that uh, Claro is doing that, uh, that center around leadership and education and, and that evolves into how we serve uh, the newest members of our community. None of this possible without the 17 people who first saw the need for Latinos right here in Colorado. Well, there's a problem with me because every time I go to the office, I think of our founders uh, who really set the tone and values and mission of the organization. So Bernie Valdez, Lena Archuleta, Chuck Tafoya, first board of directors, uh, Corky Gonzalez, Sheldon Steinhauser, and, and all the others are shaping what we are today. A large thank you carried on to those who continue that leadership and passion today. As president and CEO of, of the Latin American Research and Service Agency, I was able to raise the money, get the organization out of debt, and by the year 2008, I left the organization in, in fairly good financial status. It's been difficult. It's always difficult. I think Mike Cortez really des deserves an incredible thank you from all of us for his effort to help the organization continue. I was invited to sit on the board of directors in the mid-1990s 
and I've been off and on the board ever since. Right now, Latinos make up over 20% of Colorado's population, with about 34% of the Denver metro area, and now the fastest growing population in the state. By our estimate, uh, one out of every four Colorado's personal uh, permanent residents is Latino. Uh, we're a growing population, we're a growing part of the workforce, uh, an economically important part of the state's economy. GLADO will strive to be a service to the community well into the future, using data from the GLADO Research Institute, along with educational support through the GLADO Capital Fellowship Program. Our job at GLADO is to work with other organizations by developing new promising young leaders with our Capital Fellowship Program and other leadership development programs in the future to continue to engage in policy advocacy uh, at all levels of government. With the continued focus on political, economic, and social systems, all to help our fellow Latinos thrive right here in the beautiful state of Colorado. Right where we want to be in terms of advocacy, leadership development, and research that can influence policy. It's a symbol, really, of where we want to be for the future. And uh, I, I, I couldn't be happier that our future is looking good. We have a great organization that in the entire country is the oldest 501c3. And we should be very proud of that, but we want it to continue. And it, continue, it can continue only in so far as it serves the community and the community in return serves Plato.